everyone this is fazluddin today i'm going to talk about uh, aws lambda function and uh, as part of this session i'm going to cover uh, overview of lambda function creation of uh, lambda function testing of lambda function let's move to the overview as part of the overview you will get uh, very high level information what is uh, aws lambda function aws lambda is a serverless compute service which will be triggered as part of uh, events you can use uh, aws lambda to extend other aws services with the uh, creation of custom logic aws lambda can automatically run code in response to multiple events as i told before such as the http requests via amazon api gateway modifications to objects in uh, amazon s3 bucket table updates in amazon dynamo db and state transition in uh, aws uh, step functions lambda runs your code on high availability compute infrastructure and performs all the administration of uh, compute services okay including uh, server and operating system maintenance capacity provisioning auto scaling and uh, code uh, with uh, security patch deployment and uh, code monitoring and uh, logging also okay this is the very high level uh, overview of uh, lambda function mainly lambda function and uh, serverless feature okay these are both are together and uh, whenever we will talk about uh, serverless we can uh, think about uh, aws lambda let's move to some uh, practicals uh, here i am going to show you like uh, how we can uh, create a lambda function and uh, how it's going to test uh, now i am in uh, aws console uh, page uh, where i have already account uh, okay so you guys can create your account and uh, you can uh, create your own lambda functions once you log in into that so how we can create the lambda function is like uh, once you go to the services it will provide all the service components which are the service components is going to be uh, supported as part of uh, amazon so here i can see lambda okay if I click on this link it will take me to that uh, lambda function uh, creation page once i click let's see so now we are into lambda function creation page now here is the create function uh, button i am going to cl click on it once i click on it it will go to that uh, creation page again okay and uh, here i can uh, give the lambda function uh, name like uh, test lambda test lambda have given and uh, here are the technologies it's supported by lambda function so who are familiar with uh, .NET, uh, they can create a Lambda function with .NET. And who are familiar with Java, they can use the Java. And who are familiar with Node.js, they can create with the Node.js. And who are familiar with Python, they can use. So I'm going to create with uh, Python. And uh, coming to the role, like uh, we can uh, select the by default, uh, create an existing role. And uh, here you can see one Lambda basic execution uh, role. So please select that one and uh, click on uh, create function to create our uh, lambda function test lambda function let's click on it now our lambda function is created successfully so this is the landing page of uh, our lambda function so here you can see congratulations your lambda function test lambda has created successfully so now we can uh, start doing uh, customizing our lambda function and we can uh, run but as per our requirement this lambda function okay here uh, there are two main parts i want to cover as part of this so here you can see uh, design part and uh, function code so design part is like uh, the what are the components we have as part of our, a lambda function that means uh, which are the trigger components which are the log components which we are going to use as part of this lambda function you can see in the design page okay here you can have this uh, we can drag and drop this uh, trigger uh, component trigger components and we can uh, link to that uh, lambda function and uh, amazon cloud uh, this uh, cloud watch is already linked to that lambda function to log all the errors and success scenarios also and uh, coming to the next part like uh, 
function code so this is the main part like uh, where uh, all the developers will work and uh, do their customization as part of creation of uh, lambda function uh, we'll have one default uh, file will be created like lambda underscore function okay with the uh, different extension depends upon the technology which we select okay one uh, default method will be there which will be called as part of this uh, lambda function so here we have a handler handler is uh, like a little bit uh, we need to know more here like uh, there are two parts it is there so one is first is lambda function whatever parameter we are mentioning here is the file name okay whatever main file lambda function file which we are using the file name plus the another parameter is the method okay which is going to be triggered okay this these things we need to be remember so whenever if you change anything here method name so you need to change here otherwise it will not work okay so we created the lambda function let's test how we can test this lambda function so we can go here beside the test button we can configure our test events okay each test uh, case is like a uh, test event so here when i open this one so we will have uh, some basic test data and uh, we can select uh, some hello world by default uh, there is a template hello world template so it will select we will go with that one so i will give some simple test as a test case name so once i click on create it creates the uh, test case so now i am ready to test my lambda function whether it is working fine or not so just click on test now whatever message i have given hello from lambda it should uh, display and uh, response should be 200 if we go here you can see execution result success succeeded okay if i expand here i can see what i given the response from the lambda so here i can see hello from lambda okay means whatever message i have given it is came here with successful means my lambda function is working fine now if i do any changes in lambda function it will be reflect and it will work fine now i am going to add here uh, uh my name to check some simple string i will give Zaludin. now i have to save any modification you have to save that one for the impact so test now if i click on test i can see my name hello from lambda fazludin okay so it's working fine now what I will do, uh, whatever data is there in test, I am going to use that data also as part of my lambda. Now what I will do, I will change the key here, name. Fazludin. Now I have given name, now I change the data, okay. Now if I save this one, and uh, I am going to use this data. So whatever test data we are passing, it will come as part of the event okay now i'm going to use this uh the data test data dynamically okay here i will give event event i have given a key value as name so now i'm going to display my name dynamically from test data so now i will save again so test now if you see no error with my value from test data so i'm going to i'm able to test this uh, uh, lambda function using uh, dynamic test data so whatever data i have given in a, a test i'm able to fetch that values and i'm able to display in my console using lambda function so my lambda function is working perfectly okay so like that you can create a lambda function and uh, you can add as much of customized code and uh, business logic as per your requirement you can test then and there that is what i'm going to tell here okay so so it's very flexible and very easy to create and uh, testing also very easy and uh, you can check the console immediately like if there are any errors it will display here and you can uh, check what error it happens 
uh, for the testing purpose i am going to give some i am going to introduce some error here so i will give incorrect spelling here even something i given wrong spelling here intentionally to show how the error will looks like okay when i click on test check here execution result failed so it's showing the error message okay so you can see all the error messages here then and there and you can correct the the code and again if you execute then it will work fine it should be successful always okay if i go here then you may refresh it will show the first result there so uh, i hope guys uh, you got some idea on like uh, uh, what exactly the lambda function and uh, how it uh, executes and uh, how to create the lambda function and how to test with some uh, sample data dynamically how we can use the data and test data and uh, we can test our uh, lambda function okay so thank you so much for uh, watching my video uh, to get more videos uh, from my end uh, please subscribe uh, my channel which is uh, technology adda okay thanks a lot for uh, watching my video bye